Hey everybody, welcome to class today. Today is going to be a well-rounded morning kind of mobility flow. So we don't really get super deep into any particular types of poses like back bends or twists. We just get a good mash of everything. If you enjoy these classes, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you want to know more or have any class requests, my Instagram's in the show notes below. We're going to get started today in a kneeling position in the center of the mat. Starting in a kneeling position, close down through the eyes, take a nice deep breath in through the nose, and let it go through the mouth. One more like that, in through the nose, and let go through the mouth. Close the mouth and start to breathe in and out through the nose, maybe inviting an ujjayi pranayama. Next, inhale, gentle back bend. And then as you exhale, tap the forehead to the mat. Inhale, raise up, gentle back bend. Exhale, tabletop position. <clears throat> inhale, cow belly. Exhale, cat. Take a few more rounds here listening to the noisiest bird in the history of the universe. On your next inhale, cow belly, keep the right knee bent, send the foot to the sky. Exhale, round, knee to nose. <clears throat> Inhale, foot to sky. Exhale, tap right knee, right elbow. Inhale, send the foot to the sky, cow belly. Exhale, round, tap right knee, left elbow. Inhale, cow belly. Exhale to neutral. Left leg, inhale, cow belly, send the foot to the sky. Exhale, round, knee to nose. Inhale, cow belly. Exhale, tap, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, cow belly. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, cow belly. Exhale, to neutral. Tuck under the toes, inhale. And then as you exhale, come to a hovering cat. And then we'll take our cat cows with the knees hovering. Your range of movement probably won't be as big. Take one more inhale, cow belly. And then as you exhale, Start to send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. And then as you exhale, shift forward, knee to nose. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, downward dog. Come high onto the tippy toes and start to ripple through the spine, coming all the way to plank. And then bend the knees to hover, send the hips back to the heels, and then all the way up into your downward dog. Up onto the toes, ripple forward. 
knees come to hover, send the hips back, up, down the dog. Take a few more on your own, feeling free to add in any twists, turns, movements that you need. Shift it forward, plank pose. Drop the knees if you need to for the first one. Shift forward, elbows graze the rib cage, shoulders no lower than the elbows. Chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Last one. Exhale, chaturanga, hover. Maybe lifting up the left toes setting it down maybe lifting up the right toes setting it down lowering all the way down to the belly setting up for cobra pose feet are hips distance apart hands under the shoulders inhale peel the shoulders back as you reach the sternum through the gate of the arms exhale think of rolling down inhale peel it up elbows go back lower spine is long exhale roll down take three more and then on your last one inhale peel up bring the hands to hover Send the hands out to Cactus Arms or capital T. Take an inhale and stay. Or maybe you start to float the legs up. They stay hips distance. No pinching in through the lower back. Two more breaths. The neck is long. And then plant the hands back underneath the shoulders, tuck under the toes, knees up or down, elbows hug in as you inhale, press to plank or tabletop. And then exhale, take it to downward dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up and this time open up the hip. Take an inhale and then as you exhale, you're going to make a big circle. So shift forward into the plank, the right knee comes to the right elbow, across to the left. And then up and back, open the hip on your inhale, start to shift forward, exhale, make your circle. One more just like that. And then we're going to reverse the circle, so inhale, open your hip, and then as you exhale, shift the right knee to the left elbow, sweep it across to the right elbow, and then come back up into the open hip. Take two more like that, trying to keep even weight through the hands. And then exhale, bringing that right foot down. Inhale, sweep the left leg up, open up the hip. And then as you exhale, shift it forward, take the left knee towards the left elbow, sweep it across and under, and bringing it back up into your open hip. Take two more. And then change the directions, open the hip, Send the left knee towards the right elbow, sweep it across, all the way back up and open. Take two more. And then set it down, downward facing dog. Inhale, ripple forward to plank. Exhale chaturanga inhale float the right leg exhale set it down inhale float the left leg exhale set it down lower all the way to the belly peel up inhale bhujangasana 
and then as you exhale you're going to reach the arms straight out in front of you keep the legs down for this one inhale cactus the arms elbows to the height of the shoulders inhale reach it forward exhale cactus the arms keep the shoulders out of the ears inhale reach forward take three more And this time hold in your cactus arms maybe lift the legs for three breaths keep lengthening the whole spine and plant the hands underneath the shoulders knees up or down inhale to prank or tabletop exhale downward facing dog this time you're going to drop the knees to hover reaching back into the hips inhale shift forward to plank exhale send the hips back to hover inhale to plank take a few more like this and then staying in your plank turn the heels to the right we're going to do exactly the same thing so bend the knees the hips come back to hover and then send it forward. You should feel a nice big stretch into your left side body, into your left lap. Or maybe that's just me because I'm really tight. Take one more. You should feel your oblique starting to work as well. We meet in plank. Send the heels over to the left and the knees hover above the ground as you bend them. Send the hips back to the heels. And then shift it forward into plank. You can go as fast or as slow as what feels good in your body. And then shifting it through to plank. Send the hips all the way up and back, downward facing dog. Look towards the top of the mat and slowly start to walk yourself all the way up to the top. Take a moment in ragdoll, opposite hand to opposite elbow, maybe taking an open mouth exhale. And then letting the arms be heavy, the head heavy, gentle bend in the knees. Start to stack the spine, head and neck will come last. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, step the right leg back, drop the back knee as you shine the chest forward. Exhale, plank pose, knees can be down. Hold the breath as you lower all the way to the belly. Untuck the toes, inhale, cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right leg forward, drop the back knee as you shine the chest forward. Exhale, fold forward at the top of the mat. Inhale to raise, exhale to fold. Inhale, the left leg steps back, drop the knee. Exhale, plank pose. Hold the breath, lower all the way to the belly. Inhale, peel up cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg steps, drop the back knee. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to raise. We're going to do one more round just like that. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right leg steps, drop the knee. Exhale, plank. Hold the breath, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, dog. Inhale, right leg steps, drop the back knee. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, raise up. Exhale to fall. Inhale, left leg steps, drop the knee. Exhale, plank pose. Hold the breath, lower to the belly. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. I have a spider on me. Inhale, left leg steps, drop the back knee. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, raise all the way up. Exhale to fold. Slight change. Inhale, step the right leg back, keep the knee lifted. Exhale, plank pose. Hold the breath, lower all the way to the belly. Inhale, hands off cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the right leg forward, keep the left knee lifted. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Uh, sorry, forward fold. Inhale, raise all the way up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, left leg steps, knee stays up. Exhale, plank pose. Hold the breath, lower to the floor. Inhale, hands off, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the left leg for your runner's lunge, inhale. Exhale to fold. Inhale to raise, one more round like that. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, plank. Hold the breath lower. Hand release, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right leg. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, plank. Hold the breath lower. Hand release, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Listen for the change again. Step the right leg back. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, plank pose. Option to keep the left leg floating. Lower all the way to the belly. Reach the left leg back as you peel the chest forward. Hands can be up or down. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the right leg forward, inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, fold at the top of the mat. Inhale to raise. Exhale to fold. Inhale, step the left leg back, crescent pose. Exhale, plank pose, option keep the right leg floating. Hold the breath, lower all the way to the floor. Everybody reach that right leg way to the back of the mat as you inhale, peel up, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the left leg forward, inhale, raise up to your crescent. Exhale, fold at the top of the mat. Inhale to raise. One more round just like that. Exhale to fold. Step the right leg back, inhale, crescent. Exhale, fold. Uh, bleh, bleh, exhale, plank pose. Hold the breath lower all the way to the belly. Reach that left leg back, inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Step the right leg forward, inhale, crescent. Exhale, fold at the top of the mat. Inhale, raise up. Exhale to fold. Step the left leg back, inhale, crescent. 
exhale, plank. Hold the breath, lower all the way to the belly. Reach the right leg back as you inhale, peel up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the left leg forward, inhale, crescent. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, sink the hips, chair pose. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, sweep them back. Three more breaths here. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step the right leg back, raise up, crescent pose. And this time we're going to hold for five breaths. Keep the left hip hugging in. And then maybe take one hand to the belly, one hand to the sacrum. The hand on the belly gently draws up. The hand on the sacrum gently draws down. Take one more inhale, and then as you exhale, fold it forward. Come into your runner's lunge, drop the back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, deepening that stretch in through the left hip flexor. Think of the right knee drawing forward, the left heel drawing back. Take an inhale here, and then as you exhale, send the hips back, straighten out through the front leg, Adha Hanuman. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Exhale. Ardha Hanuman. Take three more breaths. And landing in your Ardha Hanuman, you can stay here or maybe take the right hand underneath the shoulder and as you inhale, start to sweep that left arm to the sky. You can stay still or find some movement here, inhaling to open and then exhaling, sweeping that left hand back down to the floor. Do what feels the best in your body. Shift it back forward into your runner's lunge. Take an inhale. Plant down through the right hand. And as you inhale next, sweep that left arm towards the sky for a simple twist. You can stay here or look down to the right hand. Step it back. Vashistasana. And then same thing here as throughout the whole class today. You can stay still or I invite you to find movement somewhere else in the body, challenging the balance, focusing on the breath, and just inviting organic movement into all of your joints. And our bodies really thrive with movement, so see if you can challenge the movement while maintaining the alignment. Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, plant the hand plank pose, option single leg. Hold the breath as you lower all the way down to the belly. This time reach both feet back, long on the mat. Keep the hands under the shoulders. Inhale, peel the chest through to cobra. Exhale, lower down. We're going to take four more just like that. Inhale, think of pulling the hands back, reaching the legs back, chest forward. Exhale, bring it down. Two more. Knees 
knees up or down on your inhale plank pose exhale down the facing dog step the right leg forward inhale raise up into your crescent lunge hold for five breaths Take the hands down, inhale, exhale, lower the back knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up under Nayasana. Think of scooping the lower belly up, the tailbone down. Take an inhale here. And then as you exhale, straighten out the front leg, send the hips back, Ardha Hanuman. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Exhale to Ardha Hanuman. Keep going like this for three more breaths. And then stay in your Ardha Hanuman. Maybe you take the left hand underneath the left shoulder and inhale, sweep that light arm to the sky. And just like the other side, you can feel free to stay here or inhale, open up. And then as you exhale, think of rotating back down to the floor. Take one more breath, whatever you're doing. And then bend into the front knee, lift the back knee, plant down the left hand on your next inhale, sweep the right arm up. Stay in your simple twist or step that right foot back to meet the left, Vashistasana. Maybe taking some big arm circles with that right arm, lubricating in through the shoulder. Inhale, sweep the arm up. And then as you exhale, plank or single leg. Hold the breath as you lower all the way to the belly. Reach both feet back. This time the hands are gonna reach forward. As you inhale, lift everything off, Superman. Shoulders out of the ears. Exhale, lower down. Take four more. engaging your whole back body you shouldn't feel any pain in your lower back if you do I want you to press the pubic down pubic bone down more and lift less so think about length as opposed to height and then come up on your last one and hold for five Back of the neck is long, gaze is down. Draw the hands underneath the shoulders, knees up or down. Inhale, tabletop or plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look to the top of the mat. You're going to step, walk or float to Malasana. Feet to the outsides of the hands. And using the strength of the glutes to turn your knees out as opposed to the pressure of your elbows so you should be able to reach your hands forward and still have your knees pointing in the same direction if that means that you need to come up here or put a block underneath your seat then that's fine 
You can hang out here or plant the left hand down. Start to sweep that right arm up to the sky. Once again, maybe you take an inhale to open and then an exhale to sweep back down to the floor. I personally find that this is really nice to do, especially in the mornings when the body has a little bit less mobility. And then come back to center, maybe taking the right hand down and inhaling the left arm up. Stay, or on your exhales, bring that hand back to the floor, and then using your inhales to open up. go for crow pose or crow preparation bring the hands shoulder distance apart bend into your chaturanga arms snuggle the insides of the knees to the backs of the arms come up onto the tiptoes start to shift the weight into the hands and then maybe you can pick one foot off two feet off the trick is to get the chest to come forward and think of using the back body muscles to lift the bum high you can always have a pillow underneath your face if you feel like you're going to stack it. It's part of the learning process. Disclaimer. And then bringing the feet down. Coming up to the top of the mat. Inhale, bend the knees, chair pose. And then exhale, come all the way to standing. Exhale to fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to fold. This time, inhale, lengthen. Sweep the arms off to capital T like huge wings. Exhale to fold. Inhale, lengthen. Sweep the arms forward in front of you. Exhale to fold. Regular halfway lift, inhale. And then exhale, step the right leg back. Inhale, raise up into your crescent lunge. And then this time as you exhale, bring the hands to heart center, drop the back foot, heel to arch alignment, warrior two. Sink deep into that front leg. Make sure that the front knee isn't coming way over the ankle. Try and get the shin parallel with the floor as best you can. And then stack the shoulders over the hips. Strong engagement through the back leg. If it hurts your knee, play around with the angle of your back foot until you feel like your knee and your shin are in a line. Keep hugging that left hip in as you flip the front palm. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And as you exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Plant the right hand to the inside of the left foot. Inhale, open up, simple twist. And then as you exhale, maybe stepping back to Vashistasana. Maybe the left leg floats. Inhale. Listen carefully, slowly with control. You're going to draw the left knee to the chest. And as slow as you can, you're going to step that left foot all the way back to the top of the mat. Drop the back knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up under Nayasana. Exhale, cactus the arms, open the chest. Inhale, under Nayasana. Exhale, Ardha Hanumanasana. Plant the right hand. Inhale, sweep that left arm open. Exhale, take it down, bend into the front knee. Inhale, come into your runner's lunge. Exhale, single leg plank. Hold the breath as you lower all the way to the belly. Take the hands off to the side. Cupcake the hands, turn the elbows up to the sky. Inhale, peel up for a wide-armed cobra. Exhale, roll it down. You should feel a beautiful stretch in the front of the shoulders. Inhale, peel up. 
squeeze the glutes, exhale, roll it down. Take three more breaths here. Maybe you start to come up looking to the left, feeling a stretch in the right and bringing it down. Maybe you peel up looking to the right, feeling a stretch in through the left bringing it down inhale peel up hold see if you can keep the height get light on the fingertips and then taking the fingertips down inhale a little bit more height and then as you exhale you're just going to dip that right shoulder towards the floor inhale peel up through center exhale dip the left shoulder to the floor Inhale through center. One more in each side. Inhale through center. And then exhale, roll it down. Plant the hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, tabletop or plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look towards the top of the mat, step, walk or float to your malasana. This time as you inhale, come all the way to standing, keep the knees pointing out. Exhale, malasana. Inhale to raise. Exhale. Three more breaths here, keep the glutes squeezing. Malasana. Feel free to stay in Malasana or coming back to crow pose. Maybe you hang out with your crow. Maybe you hug the right knee into the right tricep and try to bring the left knee to the chest. Maybe try and extend it behind you. Ekapada Bakasana. Bring it all back to center. Inhale, chair at the top of the mat. This time as you exhale, you're going to come into Ardha Utkatasana. So reach the arms forward, parallel the torso with the floor. The feet are probably going to be more comfortable hips distance. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, draw the arms back. Cactus the elbows. Inhale to reach forward. Exhale to cactus. Take three more breaths here. Hips reach back. Gaze is directly down. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift, capital T arms. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift, reach forward. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And then as you exhale, step the left leg back. Inhale, raise all the way up, crescent pose. And then as you exhale, hands to heart center, drop the back foot, warrior two. Set up your alignment, front shin is parallel, and you're about heel to arch alignment. Grow tall out of the hips, relax the shoulders out of the ears. Flip the front palm, inhale, reverse your warrior. And then as you exhale, cartwheel the hands down, plant that left hand to the inside of the right foot. Inhale, open twist, stay, or as you exhale, Vashi Stasana, maybe float the right foot. Start to draw the right knee into the chest, and as slowly as you can, you're going to step that right foot all the way back up to the top of the mat, lower the back knee, inhale, sweep the arms up, Anjaneyasana, exhale, Ardha Hanuman, plant the left hand as you inhale, sweep that right arm up, 
and then as you exhale, bring it down. Bend into the front knee, lift the back leg. Inhale, single leg plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. This time we're gonna have the legs up. Inhale, reach the arms and the legs long. And then as you exhale, cactus the arms, split the legs to mat distance. Inhale, Superman. Exhale, cactus starfish. Take three more breaths. The neck is relaxed. Chin is gently tucking in as if you're giving yourself a double chin or you're holding a pencil just underneath your chin. Inhale, reach everything long. Exhale, set it down. Take the hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, tabletop or plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look to the top of the mat, step walk or float to your malasana. And then this time you're gonna raise up onto the toes. Keep the knees pointing out. Maybe you can take the hands out in front of you. You stay in your malasana or one more time we're playing with crow pose. Maybe this time Ekapada Bakasana on the other side, hugging the left knee to the left tricep, drawing the right knee in towards the chest, maybe sending it to the back of the room as the chest comes down. Keep pressing the floor away. If you can draw that right knee back in, step to the top of the mat. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, sweep the arms back, raise the toes, balance chair. Inhale to chair. Exhale to balance. Take three more. Inhale to chair. Exhale, half chair, torso parallel. Inhale, long. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, long, raise up onto the toes. Exhale, stay on the toes, cactus the arms. Take four more breaths. Lower the heels, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come into a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, capital T arms. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift, reach the arms forward. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step the right leg back. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, side angle pose. Forearm can either come to the thigh, the inside of the left leg, or the outside of the left leg, maybe to a block. Wherever you are, keep lengthening through the whole spine and keep the alignment of the knee tracking directly forward, not caving in. You should be able to float that left arm. It's not really taking any of the weight. It's just there to help you turn the torso. Take one more inhale, exhale, plant the right hand to the inside of the left foot, raise the left heel. Inhale, simple twist. This time as you exhale, maybe you step all the way back and over, coming into wild thing, landing on the ball of the left foot, the outside edge of the right foot, opening the chest to the sky. Take an inhale here, 
And then as you exhale, you're going to plant the left hand, draw the left knee to tap the left elbow, right elbow, and then shoot it through for fallen triangle. Inhale, send the right arm to the sky. You can stay here or play around with bending into the back leg and the front leg, just getting some mobility into the hips. Inhale into your fallen triangle. Exhale, plant the right hand. Slowly with control, lift that left leg, step it up in between the hands, drop the back knee. This time as you inhale, you can come up into Anjaneyasana or maybe you reach back with the left hand for that incoming right foot for the quad stretch. You could stay here or maybe you start to lift up and take the right hand to the right foot as well, coming into a bound Anjaneyasana. slowly releasing tuck under the back toes start to straighten out through the front leg coming into an extended pyramid pose the left hip will draw back the right heel descends but it won't touch lengthen through both sides of the torso And then from here you can either come into revolved pyramid or revolved triangle whichever works the best for you feet are hips distance apart you're either going to keep the feet parallel or step the back foot in turn it in like a warrior one leg heel to heel alignment wherever you are the right hand is underneath the right shoulder and as you inhale you're going to sweep that left arm up maybe take a hand to the sacrum make sure that that right hip hasn't dropped down keep drawing that right hip up and back and you can stay or your inhales take you open your exhales pivot you down wherever you are we're going to take five breaths inhale it open exhale to fold start to shift the weight onto the left leg start to draw the right leg up coming into a standing split and then start to parallel the torso with the floor coming into a warrior three you can either keep the hands at heart center reach the hands back airplane arms or hardest version reach them forward you're going to take an inhale here and then as you exhale you're going to come to standing without touching the floor shoot that right leg forward standing staff inhale warrior three exhale standing staff keep hugging that left glute in inhale warrior three exhale standing staff take two more inhale into warrior three take the hands down standing split you can stay here or maybe if you want to play with some handstand hops start to shift the weight over the wrists grip into the finger pads as if you're clawing the mat start to shift the weight into the left toes or into the left ball of the foot the shoulders come directly over the wrists gaze in between the thumbs and then think of kicking up as opposed to kicking over so don't think of trying to kick to a wall think of trying to kick to the sky engage the abs engage the glutes maybe you catch some air time maybe you just take a couple of little hops
wherever you are, start to bring the legs back down to the floor. Right foot meets left. Inhale, sink into your chair pose. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Shift the weight to the left leg. Cross the right ankle over the bottom of the left thigh and sit into your funky chair. So this is a really nice hip opener and you might stay here, Ekapada Agni Stambhasana. Maybe you hook the elbows over the front of the shin. Maybe you take the hands down to the floor and maybe you can plant the hands, use the backs of the arms as a shelf, use the right toes as a little monkey tail around the left upper arm, shift the weight forward into the arms and then maybe the left heel can come to the glute maybe the left heel can extend behind you. Ekapada Galavasana. Flying pigeon pose. And then draw that left heel in, set the left foot down. Hop it all the way to the top of the mat. Inhale into your chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair. Exhale, balance, chair. Inhale, chair. Exhale, half, chair. Inhale, here. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach them long. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift, capital T. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift, reach the arms forward. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, step the left leg back. Inhale, crescent pose. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, Pajvakanasana, side angle pose, your variation. The most important thing is the length through the lower back and making sure that that front knee doesn't collapse in towards the midline. You're going to give yourself some wicked knee pain if you let that happen. Always remembering that we practice today so we can practice tomorrow. And planting that left hand to the inside of the right foot, lift up the back heel and then step back, maybe Vashisthasana, maybe wild thing coming to the ball of the right foot, the outside edge of the left foot opening up the chest. Take a nice deep inhale here and then as you exhale, plant the right hand, tap right knee, right elbow, right knee, left elbow, shoot the right leg through, fall and triangle. Inhale, sweep that left arm up. You can stay or take five or so breaths to bend into the knees and the hips, shifting the weight back and forward. And planting down through the left hand slowly start to bring that right knee through and then step the foot up by the thumb lower the back knee you can inhale to Anjaneyasana or maybe you sweep the right hand back to the inside edge of the left foot maybe you stay here or maybe you start to come up into a kneeling position with both hands holding on to that left foot for a deep quad and hip flexor stretch. Keep lengthening through the pelvis. Slowly start to release that foot, tuck under the back toes, straighten out through the front leg for your extended pyramid. Draw that right hip up and back, send the left heel down, and lengthen through both sides of the torso.
from here you're either going to come into your revolved triangle or your revolved pyramid keeping the feet either parallel or stepping that back foot in and dropping the heel left hand underneath the shoulder inhale sweep that right arm up and then briefly take the hand to the sacrum make sure that the sacrum is relatively even and you can stay still or you can inhale to sweep the right arm and then exhale float it down to the floor take four more breaths whatever you're doing and then plant the hands down start to shift the weight into the right foot coming briefly through a standing split and then start to parallel the torso to the floor coming into your warrior three whichever arms are suiting you best get your balance take an inhale and then as you exhale come through to standing staff see if you can do it without touching the floor and shifting back to warrior three exhale it through standing staff take three more slow and controlled Falling forward into your standing split maybe you stay here or maybe you plant the hands and take some of those handstand hops again maybe you have another inversion that you're working on that you want to try and you're more than welcome to do that and the trick with handstand is really to use your hands as a little moving balance platform so really grip at the mat and use the hands to disperse the weight and the balance catching you as you go forward and back. And think of oops, <laughs> lengthening <laughs> through the lower back. I'm on a little bit of an angle here so it's a bit hard. But think of lengthening the lower back out of the glutes to help elongate the pose. When you're done, come down, plant the right, uh, sorry, plant both feet. Inhale, come into chair, shift the weight into the right leg, cross the left ankle over the bottom of the right quad, and then sink down for your hip stretch. You can stay here, or maybe you hook the elbows over the front of the shin. Maybe you stay here, take the hands down, or making sure you've got enough room at the front of the mat use your left toes as a monkey tail around the back of the right tricep plant through the hands use the arms as a shelf and then start to shift the weight forward maybe the right heel hugs to the glute maybe it extends behind you And then if you extended the leg, slowly bring it back in. And we're just going to release back into a downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose and let it go through the mouth. Look towards the top of your mat, step walk or float through to a seat. And then extend the legs out in front of you for Navasana boat pose. You can hold behind the legs if you have the strength and flexibility maybe your legs are straight maybe you reach the arms out in front of you and then as you exhale you're just going to plant the feet on the floor have the feet about hips distance maybe a little bit wider bring the hands together just above the head and then you're going to shift 
the knees over to the right so the left knee is going to come to the sole of the right foot and then you're just going to shift it over to the other side so we're kind of just windshield wiping the legs this takes a little bit of core and really we're just getting some good mobility in through the hips And then coming back to seated, extending the right leg out in front of you, stamp the left leg over the top of the right leg. You can stay here or you can fold that right knee so the heel comes back by the left hip. Take the left hand behind you wherever you are, inhale sweep the right arm up and either hug around the left knee or hook the right elbow to the outside of the left knee, coming into Adha Matsya Andrasana. slowly releasing we're just going to switch it out extending the left leg stamping the right leg over stay or fold that left leg back on itself so the heel comes by the right hip right hand behind you inhale sweep the left arm and either hug the leg or hook the elbow inhales to take you tall exhales to twist the right hip forward the right rib cage backwards from here you're slowly going to unwind extend the legs long in front of you inhale sweep the arms up exhale fold forward Paschimottanasana And then slowly start to roll yourself all the way onto your back. Even when the knees are squeezing towards the chest, taking any final movements, twists, stretches you need, maybe reaching to the outside edges of the feet and taking a happy baby pose. The lower back is long on the mat. you're ready slowly releasing into your final resting position letting the palms turn up towards the sky the eyes close down take one final breath in through the nose and let it go through the mouth And just let the body be heavy on the mat for a few minutes. Nowhere else to be, nothing else to do. No judgment, no attachment.
please stay here for as long as you have time for. Today, as you go forward, may you be calm in your thoughts, gracious in your words, and joyous in your heart. Namaste.